everybody, it's Doug here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our continued playthrough of Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon, where we are uh, progressing in our story quite a bit. We're in Chapter 2. I'm going to do a quick recap overview. We had some uh, light, some things happen last turn I'll talk about, um, and a lot, rather the previous day, and now we're going to get into a new day. But first, let's do the recap of uh, our previous episode. Okay, so our three heroes, Bior, Aaliyah, and Arev, had uh, basically traveled uh, in a couple of different places. Aaliyah and Arev, after get, going to, uh, well, all of them in the travel, uh, the Titan Steps, um, helped to save a Church of the Allmother and gained uh, a quest, a mission from a knight, along with the Scabbard of Excalibur, which actually has um, uh, a special ability, um, I, which I forgot last turn, and I need to correct this turn. So at the end of or at the end of your rest, you may gain one terror to rest, to restore one additional health. And I think that Arev would have done that just to get him to max health and one terror. That's really he's nowhere near uh, at risk in terror at this point. So we're okay there, and he will recover more as he goes. But that puts him at full health, which is pretty good. So we definitely would have done that. But anyway, we we recovered that item and uh, then moved on where. Uh, uh, Bior went to the Mirror Lake and, and rested in front of the beautiful lake and then went and got a bunch of food for everybody in the uh, Tangle Root. While he was there, he fought, uh, he, he hunted some rabbit, got some food, and met up with some merchants that uh, he was unable to purchase anything from. He just didn't have enough wealth at the time. In the meantime, uh, Aaliyah and Arev uh, had gone down to uh, the first farm hold where they had uh, rested up a little bit, but they moved, continued and moved on to the uh, derelict fleet where they were able to scour the wreckage there and gain some additional magic and experience, which is pretty cool. Um, and, of course, they can only do that one time per day, so they were able to do that, that during that day, and now we have enough to get back and, and activate the men here in Titan's step and perhaps get our way on to Camelot. But we also don't want to lose the men here in in um, here in here uh, uh, the Whitening. Though I don't know that that's going to hurt us right now in the sense that we would temporarily lose Kunok Farmhold and the Charred Conclave and all that because we're not really using it. And it would still keep us... Now the one thing we would lose that is really valuable to us temporarily is Mirror Lake if we let the, uh, the um, men here in the Whitening go dark. We'll have to see. Now, we have enough resources because we also uh, fought some things along the way. Bjorn got some extra magic. Uh, he's actually got three. Uh, Aaliyah's got quite a bit of magic gathered and ready to go. And Arev got an extra magic for a dream that they, both Aaliyah and Arev, for a dream that they had in while at the Derelict Fleet, which was pretty helpful. Um, and so we know we can go back there if we need magic again. And we do need some magic and wealth to help uh, keep up the uh, uh, the men here in the whitening but to do that we need to pay food so you know my debate is, is I think that uh, as we go forward we'll see what happens but that's what we're at right now so let's get on and start our new day and see what happens we've gone through two really good event cards we had that beautiful weather card which uh, helped give us um, not only um, some easy travel but some easy uh, ways to get some food we took advantage of that Bjorn still has six food and enough to give out to the rest of the party if we all arrive together at least for a turn or two so let's uh, continue on and see what we can gather. Okay, as we normally do, we're going to start our day. And that means that we're going to remove any expired men here, but we don't have one. We're then going to reduce this one now down to two. And that's a two right there, by the way. So we're at a two with this men here, and um, it's starting to get dim. We have a couple of turns left to do something about it if we think we can. Uh, we're, we remove any time tokens. Uh, we don't have any of those, so we're just going to go to our event deck and see what happens next. Okay, I tend to... We have one more random event. I thought there was... I guess there was one per player on here, but that's it. Okay, Unnatural Chill. If you are out of the settlement when you end your day, uh, lose two health. Oh, God, wa water freezes and grass covers with frost. Old people call it the Four Dwellers Curse. So we need to be in a place... That, that was not my plan, actually. We need to be in a place where we are... Um, in a settlement, so we might have to go back to the whitening anyway by the end of the day. Let's see what we can do there. We 
do know that the first thing that's going to happen is because there's only one direction for these guys to go is they are going to travel. We're not going to continue to explore the derelict fleet right now. We're going to travel back to the first strong, the first farm hold, which means we're going to have to draw a purple encounter. That's going to be a Rev and Aaliyah. So let's get that out and see what kind of encounter we deal with. In addition to that, we also reduce their energy. That puts uh, Aaliyah at six and um, a Rev at five. So we still have plenty of energy to, to move around, maybe get to the, the whitening so we don't suffer damage from this chill. We'll see. Okay, let's uh, first draw our card and see what we get. <laughs> it's a level three thing. It's called a, a Bartak, a bar, uh, Abahartak, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it says fast and opportunist, so it's got some really bad things there. After this encounter, shuffle it back into the deck unless you pay one magic. So it could peer, uh, pop up again. Requires 12 damage. It's going to gain us some terror. Uh, if we try to flee, we're going to get a damage and gain terror. The reward is huge, so we get an experience um, and a rep, and, and we get two wealth as, as a loot. So this is pretty nasty, though. Let's see. We're going to get our cards, and we don't have to make this decision whether or not we're going to run away right now. Let's get Aaliyah and Arev's deck out and see what we can accomplish. Maybe we can destroy this thing and get that awesome, those awesome rewards. Here is Aaliyah's deck right here, and here is a Rev's deck. We haven't had very many diplomacy encounters. Most of them have been combat, so that's okay. All right, guys, let's uh, draw their cards and see what we get. So I, haven't, I don't know if I've shuffled these up, so I'm going to give them a quick shuffle. And we're going to see this is going to be Aaliyah's deck right here. One, two, three. We'll see what we get for her to fight the uh, Arbortak or whatever Arbortak. And we're going to get a Crippling Strike, a Throw, and a Defend. Crippling Strike, if we gain two charges, uh, pay one charge to lose. And this one would stay up, so we might do this one for her because she's going to get two hits on it right away. That We want to get, him. oh god, three, six, and nine. So this is a weird creature right here. But if we do that, we'll get two hits, plus we'll gain two charges. We can pay one charge. Um, when we get attacked, we can pay one charge to lose one less cube. And draw one card. So that is not a bad way to go. We also have, um, she could also defend, which means she's not going to do, well, we could do that second. This might be what we do here. So I think what we'll do is, yeah, well, let's let's take a look. We're not going to, we, we don't know what he's got yet. So let's uh, shuffle up a rev deck a little bit, make sure it's shuffled. We'll take a look at his cards too before we start making any decisions because we figure out who we want to activate. And I got to look at his special abilities too. So we got careful planning. Uh, immediately lose one energy. Each party member draws one extra card in their draw step. Okay. Ooh, his heroic strike. Uh, lose one energy, you gain one for each um, courage. He's got one courage, so that would give him one extra hit. Mm. And then uh, defend. So we might be okay here. Uh, well, I think we're going to have to take him on at least to try. I think we got to try. It's pretty pretty brutal dude. Um, and we're not going to... I don't really want to spend that extra magic to not have him go shuffled into the deck. So, what do we do? Okay, let's take a look first. So we're in combat. Here's the combat overview. So we drew our three cards, and we now we got to check enemy traits. So he's got fast and opportunist. What do they do? Let's take a look at those and see what he, they do for, for him. Uh, fast. Uh, I think that's the one where you only get to play a maximum of two cards. Yeah, players can play a maximum of two combat cards. We can't change more than... than uh, we can only chain two cards together. And that's each player, by the way. So it's not like we can only play two cards. We can only play two cards per. We can't extend it out farther than that. We don't get much opportunity to do that anyway. Uh, and then we got... I'm going to double check that to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. And then we got Opportunist. If a player doesn't play at least two combat cards in the step, apply the Opportunity attack. That's really... Okay, that's bad. So we got to tr always try to play to, to at least play two combat cards. I double-checked that just to be sure. It is each player can play a maximum of two cards. And that's probably what we're going to try to do. Yeah, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Let's, let's play around, see how it goes. If we take some damage, we do. We'll, we'll deal with it. We're going to go back and activate a, a men here anyway. I hope. That's my hope. We're going to play first. Aaliyah is going to be our first active character. So I'm going to take this token and just put it on top of her cards right there. She's going to play these two. Uh, this one first. That is going to do two damage to him. Uh, because, wait, uh, it might only do one. I think she only, yeah, she only has one 
practicality. So it's just going to do one token right now, one damage out of the 12. That's okay. Uh, and then we're going to gain a time token on here. That's not a time token, but that's all right. Doesn't really matter which one's which, just to show. Uh, immediately gain two charges, rather. Sorry, we're not going to do that either. We're going to gain two charges. So we'll put two charges on here. Okay. Now we're clear on that. And then she's going to play... Um, can she? Oh, man, she can't play it. Oh, God, that's... Maybe we'll take that back, guys. We might, we might take that one back. She can't play that card. She could play... Well, wait, yes, she can. She got it. She's got it. Because she has one... Does she have... She does not have any courage. Or, sorry, rather, aggression. So she can't play this either. So, um... She could play it. She could... No. This has no magic. Wow, this is rough. We might have to play the throw first, guys. We're going to take this back. That did, that did not happen yet. Um, we're going to play... I think we're going to play throw first. Now, that is still only going to give her one hit, but it will allow us to play... Well, no, it won't. Mm, wow, this is really tough. Okay, let's let's take that back. Maybe she won't be the one to activate first. And I'm sorry, there has to be some planning in this, guys. Just the way it is. Um, what happens when we play this? Because I'm looking for the proper connections here. So, no connections there at all, except we're in the, that one box there. So, we don't want to do that first, for sure. Uh, we got a defend and a careful planning. We could do, let's see, can we pull that one off? No, because it requires two practicality. So this is the problem with this guy, is the level, the practicality. Now if we choose to run, we're going to take, we're going to lose an energy and then take an opportunity to tackle one and gain another horror. So we might still choose to run. I can't seem to make a good combo here. I mean, I can do this, but unfortunately that means that the only thing that's going to happen out of this awesome card is... We're going to do two there and one there. That'll put it in the three category, which is about as bad as it can be. Um, we could then... No, we, we could then do... Hmm, could do that. That would give us an extra... We can't do that because we don't have a connector. We can do this, which would connect us there and do nothing here but prevent damage. Uh, two. So she, he'd still take one uh, and then draw a card, which... So question is, do we activate it all? Do we run away? I think we're going to try it. I don't know. This this is pretty weak. Weak sauce, guys. Um, let's do this. We don't have any special abilities we can do, right? Does he have anything? as forage. So I can do is gain food. Uh, she can heal. Okay, let's do this. We're going to do this. We're going to go here. All that's going to get us is these two cubes for here, okay? And then we're going to lose one energy. So uh, Rev is going to go down to four, which sucks. Uh, and we'll gain one for each uh, courage that he has. He has one. So that's going to put three there, okay? Then he's going to spend... Well, yeah, he's going to do this, okay? And uh, we're going to put a time token on here, though I don't think it will, will get... I think it will get used. We'll see. Um, that's going to connect right there with his one practicality. This doesn't do anything. He doesn't get anything here, but he's going to prevent two of the three damage he's going to take. So, okay, there, round one, <laughs> this guy down, okay, boom, we take, okay, so that's it, he did his thing, he did three points of damage, no cubes lost from it yet, which is good, but it is going to attack back for three, remember three, six, nine, we got three on it, it's going to attack back for three. Good news is, we're going to prevent two right now, so, um... He is only going to go down to one, and he was fully healed, so he's in, still in good shape. Okay. That's that. Uh, could have been better, could have been worse. Okay. Let's go on now to our second character. We're going to activate um, uh, Aaliyah and see what we can get done there. So I'm going to put the activation token on there. Uh, first off, so, uh, delayed abilities, yeah, so the next thing, we, we activate the char character activation. Um, delayed abilities, remove one time token, so she's going to get to remove that. She's going to get the benefit of drawing another card. I'll take that off for a moment, and now she's got four cards. Faint, or hex, rather, that might be useful to her. Ooh, she can do a lot of damage with a magic. We can afford to give up a magic, let's see. And then also gain one for each magic when fighting a purple encounter. This is, in fact, a purple encounter. So let's see what that will do. Let's just place this down for the moment and see what that will accomplish for us. So first off, we're going to get two here. 
That'll put her up to six. This is actually really good for us. Okay, we're gonna play this. This is gonna be really good for us. And then maybe we can finish it off. We'll see, okay. So let's start and just, I'm gonna keep this separate right now just to map this out. So the first thing she's gonna do is she's gonna get another card, okay. She's gonna have to go down to three, but she's got lots of good cards now. Okay, next thing that happens is we're going to apply two if she spends a magic, and she will. Hold on, can I? Yeah, this is her first card, so we're okay. We don't have to connect it. Okay, so she is going to to lose a magic. I'm just going to take it out of her magic pool for the sec moment because I'm still not 100% convinced I'm going to do this. I want to see how it plays out. That's four, and then we get another two here. That's actually really devastating. No, wait, wait. Let me just double check that. We got two. We drew a card. We got two and four. Okay. That's it. So we got four there. So right now we're at four, five, six, seven. Ooh, that's pretty good. We can we can do some damage here. And then we can gain one for each magic when fighting a purple. I gotta look that up. Each magic connector. So is that a two again? I'm gonna look that that up. I'm gonna look it up and just double check that. Okay, so this is the um, number of connected ones in the sequence. We only have one connected, so that would put her put them up to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty good. That's actually one of the weakest ones. But I think we can do more. So we'll do this. That is going to be her first play, I believe. So I'll take that magic away from her for the moment. I'm just going to leave it aside. Still haven't completely decided. Now let's take a look and see what she can play next. We, we do have the Crippling Strike, which I think can really do some serious damage. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at eight. We need four more to kill it. If we did the Crippling Strike now, let's see what happens here. We do that, we can connect here with one practicality, but we don't, we need a lightning bolt. We don't have that. So, huh. we can defend. Yeah, maybe that's the trick here. That's all the damage we'll do, which is fine. We can then, or we can throw. Can, we can't throw because we don't have a connector for that. That requires uh, aggression. Let's see what happens when we defend here. We can defend there. That gives us a lot of opportunity for next turn. We can connect with the practicality and prevent two damage and draw a card. That will give Bior, or sorry, a Rev another card draw next turn. That's pretty good. I may have missed a card draw with her too, because you're supposed to draw a card when you act right. No, that's you draw three initially. Uh, delay. Uh, we should have drawn a card. It's okay at the end of the turn. So we could discard down the three, he should have an extra card right now. So we'll deal with that later. That's fine. She actually had enough cards, so we wouldn't have drawn for her. All right, I think that becomes the end of her activation. We'll put that there. And we'll deal with the consequences. So uh, we didn't do any extra damage after this. We did three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at eight damage. That means she's going to lose one get hit once we're going to lose one cube. Okay, so that one damage is prevented because of that, so she doesn't take any damage. That's good. We do lose that cube, and then that's it. That's the end of her activation. So it attacked back. Um, so far, we have played two cards each time, right? Yes, we did. Okay, so we're good there. Remember, i got to keep remembering to play two cards on each activation. That is important. So uh, a rev went, he played these two, she played these. Uh, is that correct? I just want to double check that. Yes, that is correct. So we are good there. We've played two cards each. We are, the opportunist is not going to take effect. And just to remind myself what that is, oh, we do the opportunity attack if we don't play two cards. Okay, so it is at the end of um, the end of the turn. So we're going to discard down to three. Nobody has three. Um, Enemy attack, check readiness. If each player member has been activated, go to phase three. Okay, so now we're going to go to phase three. That means that she's got three cards, so she's not going to draw a card. She's fine. And then uh, Erev will, because we're going to take both these tokens off, Erev will draw one card. Let's see what he gets. Just an attack. That might be useful. Um, each player draw. Then we start the next turn. So starting the next turn, okay, um... We already know what the traits are going to do. We're going to pick the active character, and we're going to activate. Uh, so I think it seems to me like we want to do him. He does have he doesn't have the ability to, to do two cards right now. Let's t 
take a look at, at her as well. Now he's going to get to, whoever does that is going to get to draw a card. So he, she can do like this crippling attack and gather th thoughts. Or right now she could do, I don't know, she could do gather thoughts and then, but that's going to uh, pay one charge, lose one less cube and draw one card when he attacks if we pay a charge. I think we're going to do, can we Can we do that? We're going to do two damage on that too. So I think we're, we might activate her first. Let's just see how that plays out. So if she does do that, she'll get a card, but let's do this. Can we do that? And then can we activate this or this? We can do both. So I think we're okay there. That's what we're going to do. She's going to activate first. Okay. <sighs> All right. Uh, she activates first. She is going to play Crippling Strike down. Oh, wait, first off, she's going to get a card from that. So let me draw her another card. This might be helpful. Oh, careful attack. That Okay, good, good. So I think we're still sticking with Crippling Strike, okay? Because that is going to give us three more hits. One, two, three, right there, right? We'll put those aside for the moment. There's three more hits. And we're going to gain two charges here. And now, see how this card is spaced out? This card will not go away. We're going to, even, if, even when we play a second card, we're going to get to do this, okay? Now... I have throw, and I cannot do careful uh, attack because I cannot connect practicality on this card. Okay, but we're at two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're at ten right now. Wow, we're almost good. we almost got this guy. So if I do throw, let me see what throw will give us. Um, it'll give us that connector and then one more damage. So I'll put him up, put him up to eleven which means we're going to take two damage. She doesn't have a weapon to flip over, but she's that means she plays two cards and doesn't take the opportunity attack, which would be three damage. I think we're okay with that, guys. I really do. Because that'll be her two cards. And then we've got to figure out how to get a rev to play two cards. Well, he's going to get to take a charge when... Well, she'll get to take a charge and lose one less cube, but he's not going to lose a cube this turn, so we're okay there. And we get to draw a card when we attack. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do, so we'll do that. Um, that's the three from this card, right? Okay, so I need to add only one more cube to Crippling Strike. I'm going to take five away. One, two, three, four, five. And do this. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We only need one more to kill it, so that was a good move. So it's going to attack back. It's it's at a ten, 11 right now, so it's going to do two points of damage. Okay, we're going to have to suck that up. So Aaliyah just took two hits. That actually reduces her energy down to five, and she's at five hit points. We'll look at that in a minute. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, she's down. Yes, that's correct. Okay, she's down to five hit points, or four hit points, rather. She was at six. Oh, yeah, five, four. Okay, good. We got that now. That is the end of her action. All right, now we're going to go to a rev. A rev does not have another card he can draw. There's no delayed. There, the only del delayed ability is not really delayed ability. It's just that one. But all we have to do is one point. Can I manage that? Uh, I can't. Well, yes, I can. Okay. Uh, no, I can't. This is xed out. That throw was actually a bad move on our part. Let's just line things up so I get it right. Okay. Because um, he's got two... Well... If he... He can play this, but look, it's not going to do anything. He's going to take an extra hit on that attack and draw one card when he gets hit. That'll mean three, three hits. And if he doesn't play a card, it's going to be three hits anyway. Or if he doesn't play a card... Yeah, it's not going to run away if he plays nothing. What happens with this? Okay, so we can play... Uh, I'm going to have to... We're getting tight here on... This is the longest combat we've had, I think. We can play Careful Planning. Okay, that will give us... Oh, I can't... Yeah, this is his first card, so we're fine there. We can play that. Careful Planning. Okay, we're going to do that. Unfortunately, that means he loses energy. He's down to three now. Gosh. Each party member draws a card... An extra card in their draw step that's going to be helpful but that's all he can do because he doesn't have so he's going to take 
three hits of damage. That is going to be really rough for us. Luckily, we have a healer with us. And it will not lose anything. So we just have to try and do... I mean, that's really the best thing. No, wait, wait. Before we do that, he does get to draw a card, so he may be able to play it. And a careful attack. Can we get lucky there? We can. Look at this. Okay, we got it. We got it. All right, so he did that. He lost energy. That would give him an extra draw on the draw step. It is what it is. Um, and then he can connect this with practicality with the lightning bolt and do two more points of damage, which will kill it. Um, I don't think we're going to sacrifice the magic. We're just going to shuffle it back into the deck. But we're going to get a lot of stuff out of this. So, okay, uh, that is that. That is what he's going to do. So he, he drew that card from this card. Gave him a card draw, he lost the energy, we get an extra draw step, not a big deal. But, he then connects this, using the lightning bolt, and gets two more hits here. That puts the creature at uh, 10, 11, 13, and we kill it. So there we go guys, we killed it. That was a pretty rough fight. I said, a lot of thought that goes into the battles in this game. Um, it's very, very tactical. In that regard, so let's. Uh, I'm cleaning the ma cleaning all the cubes up right now. Then we're going to take uh, everybody's cards back. So let's separate them out. Uh, those are um, okay. We'll do this offline, but let's get the rewards. We're going to get. Uh, let me see. One experience and one rep each. So one experience for Aaliyah that puts her up to three. That puts a rev up to six. That's what we needed, and then one wealth as well. So. Oh, no, no, sorry, one experience and one rep. So, um, a rev is a two rep, and Aaliyah has a six rep. Man, she was, she's killing it. And then we have a loot of two wealth. So we're just going to split that. I think we're going to, well, um, a rev has two wealth already. You know, this is going to help us with that other men here as well. I don't think it really matters who gets it. I think I'm just going to give the two wealth to, I'll give one to Aaliyah and two to a rev. Okay. So I think for the men here in, in um, the whitening, we need uh, wealth each. So that's three. That's total. That's what we got. All right, I'm going to separate this out. We're going to get rid of this and, and reset our decks and get back to going. The last thing we have to do is, sh oh, sorry, wrong deck. There we have to shuffle uh, that guy back into the purple deck. So let's do that. Okay. Well, that wasn't terrible, though it did cost a rev quite a bit of energy. So I don't know if we're going to be able to activate that men here this turn. It costs three energy. We might have to wait till next round. He's going to have just enough energy to move. Man, we need to move to the whitening this turn, really, so we don't suffer that damage. He really can't afford to suffer that damage. Let's go back to the board. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at this again. I want to make sure we got it right. So what do we need? Uh, yeah, it's two energy, so we're going to have to wait one more round to activate this guy. So I think what we're going to do then is that was their, their move. That was their first action. I think what we're going to do is we're going to move um, Bior over here for one. That puts him down to five. He's going to gather more food while he's there. Unfortunately, I think we're then going to move everybody over to the whitening so for the next one. So uh, that means so we're going to move Arev and Aaliyah together. They're going to spend an energy each. And they're going to move over to here, to the whitening, so we don't suffer the effects of this card, this unnatural chill, where it says um, uh, if you're out of a settlement. Well, we're in a settlement. It's not a friendly settlement, and I think we have to draw a, a blue encounter. We do. So when they move there, they have to draw a blue encounter. So let's do that. Hopefully it's not terrible. Uh, let's see. Um, calm before the storm. Good. Nothing happens. Place this card at the bottom of the blue deck. You got it. Boom. That was easy. Nice. I have to make sure that uh, Bior can get to the other two folks. So if he spends two, he will still have enough, depending on what happens with the encounter, to get to Tanglewood and trade some food with everybody, or get to uh, Whitening and trade food with everybody before the end of the day. So I think he'll do that. He'll spend two, but he's going to have to have a blue encounter there when he gets there too. He's not very good diplomatically. That might be a bad move. Uh, it is what it is. He can join forces with them there. We can all take on the blue encounter. So he will spend two. That'll put him down to three. He can only spend one more. I don't know if this is a, a good choice or not. But if he moves down the whitening, what's he going to do with all that energy? I think we'll gather two food and see if he can he can run away from the encounter if he needs to. So he's going to gather two more food. 
Um, and then he'll have, he's, I spent the energy and he'll have an encounter there in, out of the green deck. Okay, there's our green deck. Uh, let's see what we get. Hopefully it's something worth it. Um, oh, it's a glade here. Oh god, that makes us lose energy though, doesn't it? We gotta kill him in one shot, that's for sure. Alright, well we might just run a, let him run away if we can't. Um, okay, well, that's not terrible. Uh, could be worse, but let's get his combat deck out and see if we just blow this guy away in one shot. Um, he's an opportunist, right? So I have to play two cards or he runs away every time. So we got to kill him in one shot and try not to lose any energy. That's what we have to do. Uh, and that's what it says, right? Opportunist, if a player doesn't play at least two combat cards. Yeah. Okay. All right. Draw one. Let's just, uh, take a shuffling. Draw two. Draw three. Okay. There. Now his deck is well shuffled, I think. All right, what do we got? We got throw, attack, and powerful blow. I think we can do them in with powerful blow. No, we can't. We need something with practicality. Uh, we need to play two cards. Well, no, we don't. In the first one, we just don't do anything with the first card. So, uh, well, it's BR again, right? So, I think we can kill him. Yeah, I think we can. All right, so we're going to... Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. All right, here's what we're going to do. This is weird, but we're going to attack it, but we're going to miss. We're going to whiff because you can see that the only place it connects is right there, and it doesn't do anything. So, whoosh. Okay, now, uh, this isn't going to, we're not going to worry about that because we're going to activate throw. Now, that's going to connect us there, and, oh, it's only going to give us two points, isn't it? No, we can flip over a weapon. We're going to kill it right now. Okay, so here we go. We connect here. He's got two points two uh, aggression, so we can do that with no problem. Nothing here, nothing here, unless I want to spend a magic. I don't. He gets one here, but he can flip his weapon. I, I, I assume that it says you flip the weapon. This item is in, inactive until the end of the combat, so we're going to flip it, but it comes back every round, every time he ends a combat, so he gets it. That's going to give him two more cubes. That's three, and enough to kill it without spending any energy. So we got it. Boom. Right there. He used his hammer again in a good way. All right, that's the end of that. So that's two more food back to us. He is doing great on the food for everybody. He's going to be able to disperse quite a bit. That's the end of his turn. Okay, now um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to uh, Leah. I think if we pass, if he passes, I just want to check something here, pass. You can't perform any actions until the next start of the day. Okay, I don't think that has anything to do with trading our stuff, though, in a party. I think it says you can trade freely. Um, and that would make sense. I mean, we're there. We're just giving them food. It says you can trade those resources freely. So uh, what we're going to do then next is Arev is going to pass. He doesn't have any energy. He does not want to be exhausted. Aaliyah has some energy. She is going to spend two of it to restore health to herself because she took a hit during that phase. So let's take a look at that. This is her current board setup. She's got, she's going to go down to there to restore herself one more health there with her, with her healing herbs special ability. It says to you in an, oh, only out of a settlement. Oh, she can't do that there. Wow. Sorry. What is she going to do? How is she going to do that? I guess she could have not moved with the Rev. Nope, because then we would have had to deal with that blue encounter separately. Um, she's right there. Uh, no, she's, yeah, she's right, she went five, four, three, yeah, she's right here. Um, okay, what do we do there? What do we do there? No, no, that was right, she was right here at four, she had two energy, that would have given her, yeah, one, two, yep, okay. So she's right there, what does she do? She can't heal then. That kind of sucks. Uh, she doesn't want to pass, I guess we can do something in the town and see if we can do something there. She'll explore. I don't think we can do much there, but she'll give it a try. She'll explore. Why not? Go down one and explore. Okay, so we, we already read this, so I'm not going to read it again. We don't have Fails Legacy, and we don't have Part 2. Or do we have Part 2? We don't have Part 2 of the Hidden Treasure. We don't have any of the Hidden Treasure. Um, if you have Winds of Weirdness, we don't. Um, and Part 4, or and don't have Part 4 of the Remedy status. We don't have either of those. If you're playing Aaliyah, we can go to verse 13. So that's what we're going to do, because this is her. So she's... She's, we're going to 13. She just has to be in the party, but that's okay. If you don't have parts of the remedy status, go to verse 1. Otherwise, go to verse 7. I think we do have. I don't know if this is going to do anything. Um, I think we do have parts of the remedy. We do. We have part 3 of the remedy status. 
Um, so we're going to go to verse 7. If you have more than two rep, go to verse, we have a lot of rep. Aaliyah has six reps. We're going to go to verse 12, otherwise go to verse 11. Okay, ask, okay, so 12, ask the people to help you on your journey. We can go to verse 4, gather the white lichen, verse 5. Inquire about Acolyte Bregok. Requires part one of the, Ger the of Garant's successor. We don't have that. Or leave. I guess we can ask the people for help on our journey. I don't know if I like that. Um, yeah, okay. We can uh, The gathering the white lichen thing just bothers me. Let me think. I guess it's fair to ask. I know these people are really poor. I just, I'm worried about that lichen. I, I just don't know. If, I think it, it might be bad. I just don't know. Uh, but let's um, let's ask the people to help us on our journey. I think we already know that's going to be at least somewhat beneficial for us. But let's see. Number four, sum up food and wealth of all party members. Well, currently, Aaliyah is by herself. Nobody else is there to help her. Erev is out of energy. He's passed. So she, that's a one. If you own more than three food and or three wealth and three food, no. Add plus one. If you own more, we don't. Um, if we own fewer than three wealth and three food, add plus three. If you own fewer than two wealth and fewer than two food, we do. Plus six, now check verse nine. So we're going to get a plus six on verse nine. And I guess we have to roll a one, so it's a seven. The people of the whitening shun you, so we don't get anything. We could have gotten stuff, but we didn't. Okay, we didn't get anything. That's the end of that exploration. Okay, we're going to have Beor then move. I'm going to get rid of this book because he's going to have an encounter. Beor then is going to move from uh, Tangle Root to here for one energy. That'll put him down to two. He's not exhausted yet, but he's going to have to have a blue encounter. Let's take a look at that. Okay, we got the blue deck out here. We're going to see, I think when he gets there, he's going to party up with Aaliyah on this because she's better at diplomacy. We don't know what's going to happen here. We get, uh, let's see, Law of Hospitality. We haven't done many of... Uh, of the uh, diplomacy ones. People here are not very friendly. Well, we knew that. Um, but they are. there are old customs and laws you could make, you could invoke. Okay, so let's take a look at this card. We'll put this away. Uh, basically, we're going to take a token and put it right here. Remember, we have to get to the top of the track to succeed. We only have to defeat it once. That's good. Uh, when we lose, we're going to lose a track and a card. Um, the reward is two food. Failure, gain two. Ooh, we don't want to fail. Move to a connected location. We definitely don't want to fail. We could avoid by paying one energy, uh, but, and move to a connected location. So we're not, we're going to try and defeat this. So that means we're going to bring in um, Aaliyah, put her deck right there because she's second, and uh, um, Bior right there. All right, let's um, start a diplomacy encounter. We're going to draw three cards like we would in a normal combat encounter. This does work differently. This isn't too hard for us to beat. I think we'll be okay. I think. We'll see. Uh, the first one, though, uh, it's going to be rough. Okay, one, two, oh, well, let's draw one. We'll cut one just to get it started. Uh-oh, that doesn't belong in... Oh, this is a combat deck. My bad. We got the wrong decks out. Um, and I need their diplomacy decks, rather. So let's... Uh, there's Leah's diplomacy deck and uh, be yours. Let's shuffle that up. Okay, one, two... Three. Let's see what he got. Hopefully something worthwhile. Uh, we got Threatening Voice, which uh, doesn't do us any good in this particular case. Um, this one doesn't good. Ev ev evasiveness doesn't... None of this... Well, none of this really helps us. Wow. So let's see what she gets, and then we'll decide what we do. This is Aaliyah's deck. We're going to draw one. Cut, draw another. And cut and draw another. Okay. Let's see if she gets something more useful. Okay, this will be. This is already better. Uh, empathize. Get draw a card too. We got uh, captivating song. Doesn't do us any good, really. Well, it does because we can get a success there. But that, and then times two something there, and we got flash of insight, which actually we can connect with. Okay, uh, we're get, definitely going to have Aaliyah go first, so we're going to. Activate her by putting her token there. Let's see what we do now. Now we got to get this. We got to score three successes by enforcing the law. And I think the first one we're going to do is I think the captivating. I think it's that one. No, not that one. It's this one. We're going to do uh, empathize. We connect on two parts right there. So it says this. This is going to give us one up already. 
that is going to give us another one. So we're at two already. That's what the success means. Uh, and then, can we actually make this happen? So we have a connector here. Oh, and we're going to put a token on there. Time dial. Draw a card if we don't play another one. And what's going to happen on their turn is we're going to take one and lose that card. So we, we there's no point. We're going to lose this regardless. Might as well try and play over it. Um, uh, 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 can we do anything that will be helpful? Let's see. So first off, we need to connect. So let's see if we can connect something. We can. Okay, yeah, yeah, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna win this right now. This is easy. All right. She then first she she empathized with them. She told them she was she understood their plight, but they needed to be here in the village. And then she used her captivating song. She sang them a song to tell them about the woes of the land or whatever the case may be. And uh, that's going to connect there with a, a lightning bolt, which she does have one empathy. Thank God we boosted that for her because that allows her to do that. She's not going to spend the magic. She's not going to do that. She's just going to take the one success, which puts us up to the top. So she alone managed to solve that and says, if affinity is not green, lose one rep. That's okay. Um, I don't think that's going to come into... Wait, what does that mean? Let me let me think about that. That may have an effect, but um, if, you lose, if you lose a card, lose one rep. So that card allows us to lose... A, if affinity is not green. Let me look at that. Oh, it is. It's green. We're fine. Okay, that's what that meant. All right, we're done. We succeeded that, and she got two food. Go figure. Go Aaliyah. We are fooded up in the whitening. Um, that is going to go there. We didn't need to do anything else, so all her cards were used. Uh, Bjor sat by silently and did nothing. I'm going to take this, give her a card deck back. And we, got the, we already got the reward. We did not fail. So that is a blue encounter. Down. Good job, Aaliyah, on that one. And uh, Bjor stood there like twiddling his thumbs, waiting for his turn to be able to speak, and he didn't get it. So that is that. So now we are at the whitening, uh, and we still have some energy left. I just don't think there's anything worth doing. It's probable. Well, let's take a look again. She'll spend her zero action just to look at the men here requirements again, see if we have enough to do this. We we do, I just don't know if we have enough to do both of them. That would be bad. Okay, so activating men here requires all characters in men here's secret rights. We have that pay three energy. We can't do that this turn. One health, one wealth, and one magic. We could do that, so it's 3-3. Three, three. That puts the dial up to 9 plus 1 per player. We'll decide next turn if we want to do that. So, But we need 3 wealth and 3 magic. With the food, we can trade. So you can trade here for 1 food to gain 1 wealth. Uh, we have right now, we have enough wealth. We have 3 wealth to do that. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 magic. So not enough, I think, to do this one as well. Because we need two magic, so that's six magic. We would need one more magic to do that. So I think that the whitening um, men here is going to go dark in a couple of turns, unless we manage to get back there in time. We might be able to pull that off. I'm not sure. But uh, does she, well, she, could she do anything else um, to gain anything else there? I don't think so, guys. I think that that's it. I really do. Um... I just don't. She, I mean, she's got enough energy to go one place and then come back, but I don't know what the what good that would do. Uh, she got two points of energy left. I don't want to go any place that she's going to require an encounter, and there's no place she can go to get magic. Um, we all know how bad the charred conclave was for her, or no, that wasn't the charred conclave. That was that island, the island asylum. So she definitely doesn't want to go any place where she has to deal with stuff. And we need to end our turn in the uh, village in the settlement, which this has, a settlement symbol. It's a hostile settlement, which is why we had to do diplomacy, but we still are in a settlement. It doesn't say a friendly settlement, it just says a settlement. So I think that, unfortunately, she's going to have to waste two energy. She's not in a place where she can heal. I could have done that before we moved, but then a rev... Yeah, you know what we could have done? It's too late now, but just, you know, better play. I could have had her heal a rev before they both then moved... They would have had to move individually, and then we had to deal with that encounter. So it wouldn't have worked out okay anyway. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, and we'll burn the energy, I guess. That's it. Okay, let's go to our end of day then.
Ah, uh, that's weak. Okay, anyway, we're going to the end of day. We're going to rest. That means everybody's in a village. And, oh, first off, we were going to trade some food. Um, I mean, Bjorn's got so much food. He'll give two to f two, three food to um, Arev. He'll give another one to um, uh, Aaliyah. And that gives him, that left him with six food still. So three food for the other two, six food for him. He's in good place. Okay, then we're going to burn a food each at the end of the turn. So one, two, and three, they all burned a food, leaving them with five, two, and two. I'm not going to bother putting it on camera. It doesn't matter, but they, I will now because they're going to do their healing and that. That'll show you what happens there. They were able to do the food, so they get one here. We get one here and one here. She is in a settlement, so she will lose that. Erev is in a settlement, so he will lose that. Okay, so that's good. Um, he lost a terror, by the way. And then we're going to go up in energy. So he's going to go to six. She will go to six. He won't quite make it to seven. And he will go to six as well. So uh, decent amount of energy. We can get where we need to go without having any encounters. So I think it's just going to require two energy to move. Uh, and we're fine. All right. And then we are going to do what? We're going to... Um, Okay, we restored. We did modify our decks. Uh, there is a dream in the whitening, but I know it already doesn't do anything, so we're not going to bother with that. Do I want to spend the experience? Yes, I do. Okay, so a rev has six experience. We're going to spend it because I'm going to give him probably another caution. Caution or courage? I don't know. Caution make him more di diplomatic. I, I just don't. We got a Leah for that, I guess. I don't. I mean. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to spend all six points to bump up one of our stats right now. We can bump up one of these, this block here or this block here. We got uh, Bior with two courage. I think I'll give him the caution. Let's just do that to help. We'll see. Might pay off later. I don't know. He's Erev has become more of a cautious warrior. I'm still debating that. <laughs> Let me see. We could give him two. Let me see. We can give him another courage instead. Or I can give him another aggression. Let's do that. Let's give him another aggression. He's a two aggression now. Now we got two really beefy fighters. Uh, it costs six points because basically he's filling in the third one. So that's that. Now it's going to cost quite a bit to keep going, but that's okay. We're getting better as we go. That's awesome. Then we do have our dream, but I'm not too worked up about the dream because I know the one the whitening doesn't do anything. And then we're going to see if we're insane. We're not. And that's going to be the end of the day and the end of this episode, which was pretty darn long. So, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate it. We're going to get on to our next day in the next episode. And hopefully, if, if all goes well and the creeks don't rise, which I think it will, we're going to go back to the Titan Steps. We'll have a whiting. Uh, we'll have to draw an encounter there. Uh, oh, we can do a free exploration there, which we may or may not do. I think we didn't do one thing there. I'm not sure. Um... And then we'll, we'll, we're going to raise the men here in um, Titan Step, which should give us the opportunity, the ability, to I think, to get to Camelot. We'll have to see. I'm not sure. It might be one or two cards away. But as you can see, travel is not super fast. We've been staying in pretty much amongst the same cards for quite a while. Um, I don't want to cross over the first farm hole because we do have to have an encounter there. So we'll go up and around. Either way, it's taken us two energy to get to Titan Step. Unless we get a favorable uh, card, uh, um, event card, which I don't know that we will because it's our next chapter event card. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching again. Thanks for subscribing. Like, please, uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care.